With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start this question. This question says solve the inequality. One is less than 3x square minus 7x plus 8 upon x square plus 1 that is further less than or equal to 2. Now x square plus 1 is always greater than 0 because x square is always greater than or equal to 0. X square is always greater than or equal to 0. Adding 1 on both sides give us x square plus 1 is always greater than or equal to 1. So which is always greater than 0. Now what we are going to do because this is positive we can just multiply with a positive number throughout this inequality and the signs would remain the same. That is the basic principle of this inequality. Because x square plus 1 is greater than 0 so we can multiply it and then the inequality becomes x square plus 1 because 1 into x square plus x square plus 1 is x square plus 1 this should be less than or equal to 2 times x square plus 1 here in the denominator there was x square plus 1 we just multiplied with x square plus 1 throughout so that x, x square plus 1 got cancelled and this is the final final inequality which is remaining now solving this would mean solving this now there are two parts of this so first let's look at this part the first part that is x square plus 1 is less than 3x square minus 7x plus 8 this would imply that 2x square minus 7x plus 7 is greater than 0 now just let's divide with 2 throughout again 2 is greater than 0 so the inequality sign would remain the same it would become x square minus 7 by 2x plus 7 by 2 is greater than 0 now just trying to complete the square here x square minus 2 times 7 by 4x plus 7 square by 16 that is 7 by 4 whole square and plus here this becomes 56 7 into 8 is 56 8 into 2 is 16 so this fraction is here and we just added this so we need to subtract this 7 square is 49 16 this should be greater than 0 as per the inequality now this is all this is 7 by 16 this is x minus 7 by 4 whole square that is greater than 0 which is true always because this is something a square and then a positive greater than 0 so true for all x which is true for all x now let's move on to this inequality here this side this is 3x square minus 7x plus 8 is always less than or equal to 2x square plus 2 which is finally giving us x square minus 7x plus 6 is less than or equal to 0. Now what we can do here is just split this. This becomes x square minus 6x minus x plus 6 less than or equal to 0 which is going to give us x minus 1 just factorizing it times x by taking common x minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. Now because this is less than or equal to 0 the product of two numbers what can happen? The first one can be greater than or equal to 0 and simultaneously the second one should be less than or equal to 0. So these two inequalities should be simultaneous which implies x is greater than here x is greater than or equal to 1 that is x is greater than or equal to 1 and from here x is less than or equal to 6 that is x is less than or equal to 6. So this is a part of the solution 1 to 6 the closed interval this is a part of the solution. Let's see if other solutions also exist or not. Now we took this to be greater than or equal to 0 and this to be less than or equal to 0. Now let's take this to be less than or equal to 0. For that x minus 1 less than or equal to 0 and x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0. So x is greater than or equal to 6 
which also gives that it is greater than 1. So, x is greater than 1. And from here, we need that x is less than or equal to 1. So, can't be true. So, from here, the only solution set of this inequality is this. 1 to 6 closed interval. That is the solution of this inequality. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.